Nani mm. Yeah. How are you? You do a review of the incident. You do a review. That you do a review of the incident, et cetera. You've seen the videos, and uh, you have to say it's untoward, it's not. I mean, sometimes we flood the regulations, we're unethical, but sometimes doing it in the full glare of the public speaks about how confident we are. Is that not the case, Daniel Sapo? Roland, good morning to you, good morning to your viewers, and uh, greetings from Alan John Kudu and um, Currently, as we speak, he's in the uh, central region. And yesterday, he was in the western region. And he sees a very big thank you to all the persons, all Ghanaians who have who were involved in yesterday's special voting, from the security forces um, to the media to the staff both permanent and temporal staff of the Electoral Commission also took part. Um, and it's, it's, it was interesting yesterday. And Roland, mm. I would want to appeal to the media houses that when they are doing the analysis, they should not limit the discussions to the comments and interviews and the noise that the NDC and the MPP make. We don't do that. And so they should know that there are other persons who are contesting for this presidential um, elections. I agree. You have given us a platform to uh, make our voices heard. We would appeal to them. It, it is for this reason that Ghana is where we are. Uh, because if you always limit these discussions and these commentaries to these two political parties that have been in the helm of affairs for the past 32 years, that Ghana has not gone beyond a mile, then uh, we, 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 we have a long way to go. Well, and this, what happened yesterday, when I saw the video, I was... I was in the state of shock. Now, in the state of shock because Lydia Alassan has been a member of parliament. This is her second term. And so if she wins, this would be her third term then. And to be seen herself sharing items that has a tendency of influencing votes. Mm. Not outside of the polling station, but at the polling station when voters are in queue. I saw it as a deliberate act of irresponsibility. Hey. Um, she knew what she was doing. She has been a member of parliament for two terms. She knew what she was doing. She cannot tell me that was an act of motherhood. She cannot tell me that was an act of generosity or that was being philanthropic. But that was a pure act of voter influence. And I personally would have been careful in my choice of words. Um, but this is a deliberate act of irresponsibility. Deliberate act of irresponsibility. Yes, it was deliberate. She knew it. And she, no. So if you had gone there to share food and water to your agents, you know the number of agents you have. And per the regulations, I was trying to get the regulations, but what I'm looking for is not here. You cannot gift items of food and water to even the electoral commission staff who are working at the polling stations. You can't do that. It is illegal. They are not supposed to accept it. Now, you cannot share food, water whatsoever, to voters who are in queue to go and vote. You are not supposed to even waste so much time there when you have gone. 
all you go to do is to go to your agents who are representing you and if they need anything or whatsoever they want you give it to them but you see let us not limit this discussion to lydia alasan and ayahuasca west wogo mm. yesterday there were other videos of somebody who had voted and was gifted a, a piece of cloth i saw and, one with cans um tin tin fish and some of those ones and and you see it is happening and when i looked at most of those videos and pictures i am beginning to believe and agree with the many Ghanaians who have said that there has been so much corruption in the system that stealing has gone on so much that people have so much money to spend and mm. to buy votes roland pick your calculator okay now if what am i calculating if we the food she was sharing plus mm -hmm. the water was 50 Ghana cities. 50, 50 Ghana cities. And we have, we had, let's say, um, 500,000 voters in our Ayawasu West Wogan. Let's find out first. Oh, let's say we did, yeah, 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 we are just fixing the numbers. Uh, but, so, but let me find the real. Find uh, the real figure. For Ayawasu me. West, West Wogan. Yes. I will just even use the line. Oh, we'll go start, um, this one you don't have to you don't have to suffer to use. no don't worry so it's here so uh, at least we'll use the 2020 use the 2020 uh, let's say 2020 so how many voters both of there? them in excess of uh, eight over eighty thousand eighty thousand yes so, so let, let me just put, let me just input times 80 eh? times eighty thousand times eighty that's four million that's Ghana four cities. million Ghana cities. your own is it all cities or current uh, the 50, your 50, is it all 50 cities? Ghana cities. 50 current cities? Yes. By 4 million Ghana cities. By 80,000 voters. Mm, 4 That's million, 4 Ghana, million cities. Ghana cities. Mm. Now, so Lydia Larson has 4 million Ghana cities. You mean going by this to incident? gift to voters. Now multiply 4 million Ghana cities by 276. What calculator in your papa and ma? Oh, eh, papa. How, what do you have there? I have 1.1 billion. And so if we are dividing it by the current dollar rate of 17 Ghana <laughs> 17. On the street, on the street it's 17. Oh, yes, yeah, street. That is $64 million. Yes. If all of the MPs decide to give 50 Ghana cities worth of food and water. Mm. No, no more. No, oh, it's, it's the no, four I'm million. Just limiting yeah, it to that is referring to even and that is money. how much money people have stolen, and they are willing to buy votes. And it's not only Lydia Lassan who are sharing food and water; it's across. <clears throat> and they know the regulations. They know it is against the rules, and this is what they are doing. And these are deliberate acts. All right, see, and. This is what we should know. Roland, in, on the 7th of December, Ghana has an opportunity. The youth of Ghana, the people of Ghana have an opportunity by the grace of God, backed by the 1992 constitution, to choose between a Christ-like leader, like Alan Germantin, who will not sit down for some of these things to happen, and the others who have been a part of this act of corruption. Alan too was part. He cannot escapate himself. You can say whatever you want to say. But he cannot you cannot, himself you cannot from the pinpoint of the, thing of the country. of corruption to the personality of Alan Germantin, and which you can attest. You have been in the game for a very long time. Which you game? Have, I'm a you journalist. have been a journalist for a very long time, of course. Can you mention a day that you, Roland, have read or done any investigation concerning Alan when it comes to corruption? No. Ghanaians would have an opportunity to choose between a personality like Alan who thinks about the future and the progress of Ghana and persons who have always thought about themselves being self-centered and not looking beyond Ghana and looking at things that would destroy the lands. You would only would this money can only be corrupt and Galamze money. You, you won't use your business money to do this. You won't use your hard-earned 17 hours of work to do this. 
you would only use monies that have been stolen, monies that have been gotten out of galamse, monies that have been gotten out of illegalities. Can they prove their source of funds when they go about distributing this? And I am not surprised, just to wrap up, this happened and people complained during internal elections. We had a guest complain during the internal elections that these things were happening. The monetization of our, our, our elections in the country. Who shared money? We Against who? Alan Chairman Ting. During internal elections. During the NDC's internal elections, somebody complained. There were letters that were issued. During the MPP internal election, people complained that monies are being shared. People go up. During their primaries, they share TV sets. They share fridges. They share cars. And we say nothing about it. All right. And it is being extended. They can share cars and TVs during the general elections, but they can share water, they can share food and share clothes. Mm. And you, the people in the media, the electoral commission, and the persons who are responsible to ensure that the regulations that is governing our elections are indeed implemented, mm. full regulation, mm. take these persons to...